So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the Nano Text Editor to create a very simple Bash script that takes input from the keyboard and then echoes it to the screen. So let's get started. I've already logged into my computer. I'm going to type the word Nano, which is the text editor that I use for any kind of short and simple text editing. And then I'm going to call this um, script color cap dot sh. I always use the dot sh to tell the computer that it's a shell script. So we're going to do a color capture dot sh. And when I hit enter, it's going to open. You notice on the top it says color cap dot sh. So my first thing I'm going to tell people to do is put in a pound sign or hashtag just as a way to uh, put in a comment. So I'm going to put down my name and the date. And the next line is going to be some description of what this program does. Sample bash script with a variable. So the first line of this program is just going to echo to the screen by using the word echo. Please enter your color. When I have the word echo, the program is just going to simply put out output to the screen exactly what follows as long as it's within quotes. So in this case, it's going to echo to the screen to the user. Please enter your color. Once I've entered that color, I need to read it in. I'm going to call it read color. Now the color in this case is the variable that I'm reading in from the keyboard. So you can have it read date, name, whatever that you want it to do. In this case I'm going to have it read color. And then I'm going to echo it back by typing in your color is, and then I put a, a dollar sign in front of the word color. That indicates to the computer that I'm actually using a variable which happened to be called color. That's my lines, three lines of code. Echo, please enter your color, read the color, and then echo it back. I control X to exit this. Type in the letter Y for yes. Again, I'm keeping the same color cap.sh name. And I drop back down to my uh, system prompt. To run the program, I type in the word bash, which is the born again shell with the name of the file name. And hopefully this will work the way I described it. So enter my color, I'm going to type in the word red, and then it prints out your color is red. And if I did it with a different color, type in the word green, it'll then work as well. So if you have any questions, just don't forget to comment and let me know if you need anything else.